Hello everyone, welcome. I'm a rough pebble and I am so excited to be diving into Realms Forgotten. A fantastic complete overhaul for um, Bound Blade 2 Bannerlord and it brings a lot of really cool, fun, exciting content. We're talking trolls, goblins, elves, humans, and that's just to name, you know, a few things off the top of my head. Let's go ahead and dive into it. And I will post the entire list of all the mods and everything down below. Um, if you have questions around how, like, load order and all that, just let me know and I can um, get that sorted out for you. few in number, desperately sought refuge and embarked on a perilous journey towards the sun. To their astonishment, what was supposed to be an ocean revealed itself as frozen water, allowing them to walk across its icy surface. Many months later, their scouts made an unimaginable discovery, a new continent. Weary and on the brink of exhaustion, only a small group managed to survive. They stumbled upon a forest adorned with colossal trees. However, the forest had those who called it their home, a race not entirely human. Suspicious of the newcomers, they denied them hospitality and drove them away. Undeterred, the survivors continued their arduous journey, delving deeper into the unknown land. They dispersed, hoping to increase their chances of survival. Over time, their settlements flourished. Scattered across different corners of the world, they prospered, became towns, and they crowned their own kings and queens. Yes. As their armies amassed Humans. and the once fragmented factions reunited, Ancient powers of long men. established in distant lands prepared for the impending changes. Foreigners emerged along remote borders, signaling a shifting tide. And as time passed, an old ancient power arose from beneath the snow. Mm. A question then lies to be answered. Who will reign Aeoth? Who will reign Aeoth? That is the question. Um, so here we get to choose between uh, some cultures so we've got the nasoria some of these are relatively similar to um the races in uh mountain blade but some things have changed significantly as well so uh just keep an eye out you'll notice some toilet uh boilerplate text other things are uh have been reworked uh we've got the dread realm dread dread realm i don't know the realms of men We've got Athas, the Al Kur, similar to the Kuzite, and the Elvain. And yeah, again, similar to the Batan Batanian. I'm thinking the realms of men. I think that'll be good. We'll play a sort of uh, mercenary band keeper who uh, will maybe try to employ. Uh, the help of trolls and, and other things. Um, and I think this is good. Being an army brings 25% more influence. Uh, we'll upgrade here. What about this? Maybe we do... Maybe we do the elves. We could play like a two-handed elf. Or like a... More of a melee. Or what about... Infantry. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with the elves. I think that'll be fine. Ten percent slower build rate for town projects and settlements. That is totally fine. We'll move a little bit more quickly in forests and whatnot. We'll choose our race to be of the elven type. Um, we can just randomize everything here okay <laughs> these guys look pretty funny whoa that's a big elf all right cool all right let's go with some maybe we give you a little bit more height here give you a little bit of a infantry Make a shield wall! Get him hell! Back to back! 
Make a line. Yeah, well, uh, sure now. height there we go I like it okay um face we can randomize well you know what first let's take off your beard uh you are an elf you're not gonna have a beard I think that's the one thing about elves um face fine with it you actually look pretty good let's go with it Okay. Um, let's go ahead, do next. Let's go and take a look at your family. You were born into a family of... Scouting and Tactics. Foresters. Yeah. Seems good. The family had little land of their own, so they earned their living from the woods, hunting and trapping. They, caught, they taught you from an er early age that skills like finding game trails and killing an animal with one shot could make the difference between eating and starvation. Sure. As a child, you were noted for... Leadership skills. The wolf pup gang of your early childhood had an alpha. It was definitely you. All the other kids followed your lead as you decided what to play and where to play and led them in games and mischief. Like all village children, you helped out in the fields. You also... sold produce at the market. Prepared projects, gathered herbs. Um, trade, medicine, and scouting. No. Let's go with uh, this. Yeah, sold produce at the market. As a youngster growing up, war was never too far away. Let's see. Crossbow and engineering. The noble... Fighting in bow? No. Roguery and throwing. Sure. Uh, the Arcora. Arcora, an elven term that translates loosely as one who protects the forest. For the scouts sent to the borders of the realm to watch over possible threats. Often you need a trick. You need to trick your way into foreign armies and cities, cheating and entertaining whatever disguise was at your disposal. Sure. Before you set out for a life of adventure, your biggest achievement was... You treated people well. Yours wasn't the kind of reputation that local legends are made of. But it was the kind that wins you respect among those around you. You were consistently fair and honest in your business dealings and helpful to those in trouble. In doing so, you got a sense of what makes people what made people tick. Yes. Your character starts starts off uh, twenty years old, and we dive in. A common elf. A default start. Beginning your new adventure, we're kind of near our homelands. Sure. And uh, let's go with like a nice dark deep green here. Um, and then maybe something like this. Prancing deer. Or we can go for the, for like a tree. Hmm. Um, okay, there's a ton of stuff here. Oh, I don't think I want anything like that. Too delicate, too delicate. Um, oh, my, okay, something like that is kind of cool, but doesn't show up very well. I think one of these trees that we had up here was fine. Or we go for the wheel.
We'll go with tree or the leaf. All right, let's go with it. I like it. Ben Bracher. Ben Peblis is our clan name, Ben Peblus. And our name, let's go with like Roth, 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 Peblu, Roth, Roth Ben Peblus. Very good. Difficulty presets, we'll go Bannerlord realistic on everything and we'll play Iron Man mode. So if we die, we die. If our friends die, they die. And that's just the way of it. So, where are we? Where do we find ourselves? We find ourselves in Mirthrail, just outside city gates. Um, there's a few pathways and things around here. Um, we could try to recruit a few troops. We'll re recruit the four elven volunteers here, sure. Um, I'd like to do some trading as well. Let's see. Can I purchase anything of high quality here? Uh, we only have 920. Vortex Axe. That is something to behold. Um, a scythe. Bolts. Throwing blades. Elixirs and berserker potions. Um, some capes, an elven swordsman helmet, a goblin soldier. Uh, we don't have any gloves. Fur armor with strap. Large fur cloak. Round cloak. Um, war Nasori reinforced leather boots. Uh, for apes, fringe ape. Um, what if I'm? I'll gr I'll grab a little bit of grain here. I think that's important. We need food for our journeys. Okay, that's it. What about if we go to this? Aha! I can craft things here. A one-handed sword. Axe. Don't have anything to put into this flat pommel. Okay. Well, we'll have to wait on these things. If we go to the tavern district, there's... In that would be nice, but we need to save up a little bit of money. Um, let's go to some of these outskirts, some of these villages. Event. As you crossed a small road, you came upon a wrenched wagon. Turned to pieces, blood stenched the ground. Around it in the soil showed signs of a fight. Under the rubble, a voice came out asking for help. Not the best English, but I don't think the developer is a native English speaker, so that might have it in here, but that's fine. They We get the gist. They took him. Said the voice of a man, half of his body under the broken wagon. They ran into the forest. Please, rescue Ulia. The man, with faltering breath, spoke to the hideout's location. Spoke of the hideout's location. Somewhere where the elven kingdom borders meet the north side. Way over here. Okay. We can take a look at the map. Quite large. The we have some work to do traversing these lands. Now up here, there's a lot of fog. Let's pop into Aster and see if we can recruit any folks here. Elven High Blood Archer, absolutely. We'll take some archers. Buy produce. Everything's quite expensive here. What about Morihig? Ooh. 
Oops, oops. Be more. We'll take them. Produce. Nine. We could make a quick little buck here. Capacity exceeded. Fine. That's fine. Let's do that. We pay 180. We run over here. Paid. To 83. Sure. They made a little bit of money there. That's good. Oh, and we can hire one more person here. Okay. I think that was good. I mean, we could do that a little bit more if we wanted to. Um, I mean, that's basically just free money going back and forth here. I do think it's important to uh, get some experience under our belt as well, though. Let's go past Mortihig for now. Let's see if we can find... Maybe some adventure. Recruit some more troops, absolutely. Produce... Yep, again, we could make more money here. Oh, and we could sell for 55 here. There's only one here. Well, that's a lot of money. All right, let's go trade. Go trade all this away. Uh, just move all that over and move these over. Yes, look at that. We've made made a significant amount of money now. Okay. One moment. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. My cat decided to come join the party. Um, let's see here. So, uh, we're just a young elven lad. A little bit of grain and a little bit more money than we started out with. We also have a group of 14 other folks here that are, one, training underneath our banner uh, and are, okay, so here we've got four, five, hmm. Let me put one into... Medicine. I think that's important. I think probably trade as well. Roguery, trade, athletics. Now nah, we should put one into athletics. Move around a little bit more quickly. And we'll save one of each of these for, for the time being. Okay. Let's keep moving down here. We'll make, I think... It would be really good to get a little bit of experience under our belt here because our party is currently not super experienced. We've got a couple of these high blood archers, but that's not that's not something that's really causing me a lot of uh, feeling me to making me feel very secure. Only two of those is not really quite enough to do much of anything. Let's go into each of these towns and see how much we could make or what kinds of things they're selling and trading. Um, a ridged iron broadsword. A one-hander. All of these one-handers here. Berserker axe. A one-hander here also. An elven battle hammer. Two-hander. Okay. 
Okay. Brain is pretty expensive here. Rusty Elven King or shoulder with cape. A dead walker. <laughs> no, that's gross. Um Goblin Soldier Legs. Urzok legs. A bear mount harness. Okay, so we can ride bears at some point. That tier gloves. A heavy male vest. Okay. I think we want... Alright, yeah, put that on. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Okay. Um, that costs 252. I don't have anything. Oh, and there's, yeah, some of the bear. A red stag. Okay, very cool. That's gonna cost a ton of money, though. Uh, troops. Five have 22. Okay, so we'll take all of those. Um. Need to go down this way. Dern. Root. No. Produce. Very expensive. All of this is expensive here. Man, we got a. I feel like we got a steal on those uh, shoulder pads. Aldrin's. Two hundred bucks. That's a ton of armor. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, all right, six primitives. Our first. Our first band of enemies that we're after. Six you best back off. Uh, still hold on, maybe we can... Yes. Yeah, what yeah is we'll, it we'll fight all 14 of you there, that's good. Yes. Attack. We have 21 against... 22 against your... 14. Oops, that's um, all right. Better than I wanted to get. Let's go ahead and put you up here. We're gonna put you up here as well. Okay. Per oh yeah, I see it. Um, and that's good. Let's go ahead and go. Um. All right. Bowman. Onwards! Can I not get on the rocks here? Okay, we'll take those. Um, we'll split. We'll do five here, five here. Sure. With that, here to the bottom. All right, good. 
Uh, we'll pay 210 for that. Let's just go ahead and toss you into the Elven Fighter as well. Um, we got some olives. Grapes. Other things that we can sell in town. Um, we've gained skills in leadership. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So if I pull this up, we can see that the archers will just go towards the Elven Champion Archers. Um, the Elven Volunteers can get split up into these two. The Wood Runners can get these Wolf Riders, which would be awesome. Or we can get these Elven Knights uh, if we go down the Elven Fighter train or path. Uh, we'll also get some of these Pikemen... Berserkers, all that good stuff as well. Berserker would be fun. We'll get some of those in due time. Now, where are we? Okay, so yes, we just ran down here. Um, we're on the border of another empire here. Let's go towards Cormanthor. We'll speed up time just a little bit to go up here. What have we got here? Roots? No, we'll hold off on that, but bye. Here, no, this is all too expensive. Okay. We approach Cormanthor. Group troops. No, thank you. Let's go into the tavern district. We'll choose the prisoners to be ransomed. All of these. Okay, 45. Elven caravan guard. I mean, we definitely don't have the money. What are you? 4,900. Um, trade. All of the cannibal. Honestly, though, actually. Some of this might still be good for us. Uh, the cannibal vests. No. Monkey mask. I mean, it's better than anything that we have. So yeah, put that on. Uh, wait. Okay. Shaved your head for this one. Alright, we'll go with this. Cannibal reptile vest. One is a little bit more armor. Okay. Sell. Sell. Now we have very little food left here. Um, I would like to sell... Okay, we'll hold on to that. Probably eat that. Um, there's some war wolves here. We'll go ahead and grab a dagger. No, I don't think so. Maybe getting some of these javelins, though, could be good. I mean, regardless, getting some of this is important just to have food in our troops. Uh, or this Arcora helmet. get 105. We have this nice helmet here. Help protect our noggin. Grab the gloves as well. Get 24 out of this. Hog. Not interested. Okay. That seems good. We're gonna go make a little bit more money up here. Oh, some more oops. We can try to chase them down. Uh, there are 
how many 12 over here? Mess with us, and we'll sell our- Alright. We are gonna mess with you. We'll attack you in the dead of night. Good. Alright. Make a line! Line formation! Stay close! Alright. Yep. Attack! Charge! Charge them. Oh, I'm scared. Lost a few men there. But we lost some of the wood runners and an elven fighter. One of the looters here. Uh, sure, we'll pop you up. Uh, we'll take the skirmisher here. Up here, it will do that. All right, and the swordsman. Very good. Got similar types of pauldrons here. Got a similar type of hat. Okay. Um, masterwork short simple raider spear. And we have our friend here that we could probably equip with stuff as well, yeah? Or we don't have a friend. We just have... We need to go get a friend. We should do. None of these folks that we have here... Yeah, we can equip anything too. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can... Well, I do need a little bit more money, maybe. But... For now, I'm going to end this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe and like, and we'll catch up soon. Thanks for watching. I'm here to contract first.